All right, Kapun Piso here. These are the facts that everybody seems to ignore, backed up with evidence. This will you create God on all the delusions with. The cancer of the brain, believing God. Now, these are dendrites. This is what is occurring inside our brains. Brains. Today, we know our brains are product of 3.5 billion years of evolution. There is no God. We created it with the brain when it malfunctions. This is spine motility. I see a growth cone in here. This is all occurring inside the brain. This is an image of a pyridibal neuron. This inside our heads. All this stuff creates God and thinking. And when they malfunction, they create God and all these uh, delusions. And yeah, crazy thinking. So it's all in the head, people. It's all the evidence right there. What is neurology? Well, neurology is a field of medicine uh, which um, is interested in uh, how the brain works, um, how um, nerves and muscles work, and the diseases that affect them. So, in, in brief, so uh, we focus in on uh, uh, the central nervous system, which includes the eye, the brain, the spinal cord, and we also focus in on the peripheral nervous system which is nerves and Look also on diseases muscles. and the effects of those. Uh, for the most part, uh, we're interested in uh, cognitive and behavioral changes, um, mostly as it relate to a disease of the brain, uh, rather than... Yeah, like Christianity, in and believing in God. Environment. And think that people don't understand the that. Psychiatric diseases are uh, probably of an organic nature. Over 4,500 years ago, this papyrus influenced by Imhotep, a scientist, um, really proves that the Egyptians were very much into neurology, but only were scientists. You know, religions control everything. Over 10,000 years ago, scientists, people that observe nature that requires atheism, lack of believing God, were an extreme minority as they are today. Bipolar disease, schizophrenia, etc. Yeah. Uh, and exactly. so we study the brain. And neurology brain. proves that the mind is created with the brain, and uh, it is a fact. And if you are educated and you start believing in God and nonsense and demons and demonic possession, you are act exactly like a schizophrenia, sufferer, or a temporal love epileptic. In other words, you have a problem with the brain. So religious beliefs are a neurological disorder extremely dangerous parts to it it has uh, a nucleus it has ribosomes which make proteins that's where the RNA is the brain is full of them speaks to the RNA and the R there's a message that's sent and message that's sent and we are the product of genetic mutation over millions of years proving evolution it's all in the brain all of those are in the cell body, the neuronal cell body. Now, it has processes which are called dendrites, which are short processes, and they may have a hundred dendrites in a big neuron. That's the receiving end of the neuron. So a dendrite may have connections from 50 other neurons, all right, and it's all going to be with connections to that dendrite. And then it has a part that goes to other neurons or to other structures. That's the axon. See how complicated this is? <laughs> That's where you saw the people infected with Christianity and other delusions inducing psychosis are too lazy and ignorant, and they are filters, and they, they never study this. They just say, oh, that's bullshit. God did it. <laughs> so there is the cell body with its dendrites, which is the receiving part of the neuron, and it has an axon. It only has one axon has many, many dendrites, has one axon, and that axon is going to go someplace. If it is a motor neuron, it's going to go out to a muscle. If it is in the brain, it may go to other neurons, or it may go to the basal ganglia, or it may go to the medulla oblongata, or it may go uh, elsewhere. Basically, it is going to carry that neuron's message someplace. Now, the axon has the neurotransmitter in it. 
It's made in the cell body, but it's going to carry it to wherever it wants to go. One of them is dopamine. The dendrite the serotonin. is receiving. The axone is also going to have what we call the action potential. It's going to propagate an electrical signal. You don't need to, to, to be a scientist, to be a neurologist, to understand that the brain, this thing that we have here, matter that got to know itself uh, with evolution, creates the mind, and the mind creates the illusions of God. Simple. People that believe in God and demons and all that nonsense in this 21st century are theotards. It is the axon that has myelin on it. Dendrites don't have any myelin. But quite clearly, the axon is the nerve. A chemical made by the neuron, which um, is comes down into the end of the nerve, and is released to make whatever it's in contact with activate. All right. So if the neurotransmitter uh, is uh, going to make the muscle contract, uh, it would come out of the motor neuron. Motor neuron would make that transmitter. It would send it down the nerve, uh, and then it would be released by what we call um, vesicles. And there is a, a cleft between the what we call the presynaptic, which is the motor neuron in this case, and the postsynaptic, which would be the muscle. The muscle now has a receptor for that neurotransmitter. So serotonin, for instance. Uh, is a neurotransmitter. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter. But what they are is they are chemicals that are made by a neuron t to speak to wherever they are making contact. And dopamine and serotonin, some of these neurotransmitters make you see God and feel very, very good. They are very addictive. They are in LSD and some other drugs. They release it and it makes the other cell activate whether it be muscle or another neuron. Sometimes it's um, a um, hormone. Sometimes it's a kidney. Sometimes it's a blood vessel. So whatever it may in contact with, it will do it. A nerve is something that goes to an organ or a tissue um, that uh, makes up sensory motor function. So it carries fibers from some place to the spinal cord or the brain, or it carries them oh, um, oh, from the brain and spinal cord too. So for instance, your hearing nerve, your auditory nerve, uh, is coming from your uh, inner ear, and that goes into the nervous system to tell you, give you sound. It goes to areas in the brain that are um, equivalent. Anyway, by function, you hear God voices. Uh, those are, that's a peripheral nerve. Your smell is a peripheral nerve. Your exactly. taste is a peripheral nerve. Okay. Past the LSD and the Peyoto. Peyoto. Well, the brain. Uh, there's actually the brain, and then the offshoot of the brain is the eye. The, the eye is an outpocketing of the brain. Exactly. Exactly. So it's really central nervous system. Very important. It's the same tissue as the brain. There's the spinal cord, which has the input from the periphery that goes up to the brain, and it has the impulses from the brain that go down. Impulses from the brain. We are born atheists. Our eyes are the most important sensor that we have. When the eye malfunction and we don't see clearly, we suffer from from a from a, an eye disorder. When the brain doesn't get the right information and it starts believing in God and accepting irrational things as reality, then it's, then it suffers from a psychosis, which is religious belief. One part of the brain is not the same as another part. So we tend to think of the frontal lobes which is the front of the brain, uh, as being involved with behavior. It's not a with exclusive behavior, the only area that's involved in it, but that's primarily what it's about. A lobotomy and brain operations remove believing God.
بچه دیارم